Right, so I've got all these space marines here. Look at them. Got bollocks. Look at them, this is a bloke with a missile launcher. And there's some blokes with a melter guns. And there's some blokes I've still not been asked to paint. Ooh. This one's from Star Collecting Box. Then there's some more somewhere. Yep, and then the last type is more Space Marines with just bolt guns. Actually, no, there's more. Come on, focus. Blokes bolt guns. Then there's. Yeah, here's one. A Devastator team. That's where he comes from. And it's about, what, 60, 55 minis in here unpainted. That we need to do. So I've been looking for a way to speed paint these. So they're Iron Warriors. Uh, they're meant to look something like this. Hazard stripes. Interesting base. Silver armor. Um, then in the infantry. Uh, where is he? Is a Terminator. Looks something like that. Quite nice. So we're looking for a way to speed paint them. So I've been working on at the moment some terminators and then these characters here. Um, and these characters are kit bashed. Uh, this one here is a Praetor. Ooh, let me see if I can get it better on the camera. He's a Praetor. Um, it's got some random Necron bits on him because they look like Mechadendrites. And um, just a normal sword on him, uh, axe on him. And the other one's a bit more exciting. So he's got a Mechadendrite, which is a Necron bit strapped onto you. Uh, cable which goes to his backpack which I put a big skull on because I thought it'd be cool and then I swapped out his arm for a power axe because I like power weapons then his left arm bit iron hand style but uh cool nonetheless that's a uh, necron arm I swapped well, it's a bit long but who cares let's put those back yeah so yes yeah, so I've been looking for a way to speed paint these so at the moment what I've done is painted them silver and based them a bit uh, because of the paint for the basing it's the texture paint and they take a while to dry. So what I did actually was quite an interesting method. What I did on the uh, dreadnought here as well. So I start by spraying them black and then with a bit of a brown spray. But I sprayed it too close so you get little dots and bubbles to give them text from the armour which you don't want on clean uh, armour, but armour you want to artificially texture, it's quite a cool way to do it. You want to take it like 10 by 15 centimetres away from the model, you know, even closer than that, like this far away from the model, and then you get little dots, uh, little specks on them, so that the, the paint actually sticks to them, so if I zoom in, yeah, you can see the so this is a dry brush on top of that and you can see it's got lots of specks and uh, quite a bit of texture. Sorry, the cat is whinging. You okay? No, the cat is not whinging. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, so you have a nice texture on the armour. You okay? Where is it? You okay? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, so you get the text from the armor. And this means you don't have to apply a wash or anything because you've already got a texture. Just maybe an edge highlight, although you can probably skip that because uh, no one really cares. Uh, so that's actually what I did on the Dreadnought. Now the Dreadnought doo -doo -doo -doo, was very interesting to paint. So as you can see, the armor looks uh, quite quite interesting. Oh, way too much. 
So the arm has got a lot of flavour and texture to it, and it took uh, barely any time to paint. And I just uh, threw some hazard stripes on, based it, and that's it basically. But um, the actual armour, I think doing it this way is a lot better. Because as I said, there's not really a need to give it a wash. Um, because it already comes textured to an extent. Because what I did with these ones was... I built the uh, sort of grimy metallics up with uh, quite a few different paints. And it just took a while to do and I just have time for that. So I'm looking to really speed up the process. So these guys here... They've been working them for about six hours. Nah, less than that. Probably about four hours. There's just a lot of them. Then with the rest of these blokes here, focus. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long. Because like, there's a lot of them. There's um, so there's ten of these guys with bolt guns. Five devastators. Ten with missile launchers. Ten with uh, melter guns. Then 20 beakies with bolt guns, wherever they are, somewhere in there. Yes, and 20 of these guys. And um, that's quite a lot of models to paint. Um, so I also applied this method to some tanks. So I did it on Spartan and Dread. I say tanks, it's just tank. Uh, it, didn't take too long with Spartan, I'll put a picture up, uh, the Spartan's not down here right now and I can't be asked. But I think the, the armour is quite a nice effect, but uh, apart from that, it's about to it. 